And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create AI images for free inside of CapCut directly. Just go to media and there you should find AI generated directly below local. You have to be signed in though. So make sure that you're signed in maybe with a TikTok account, your Google account, whatever. Let me prompt something right here in this box. It's fairly easy to do. Let me make this cyberpunk. Man in streets, neon lights, futuristic, something like this. And then click on generate. As I've said, it is free, but I don't know if it remains free in the future. Usually when these options are introduced, they're in the beginning free and then they become pro or they start charging for it. But at least for now it's free. You will get four results and there are options you can give feedback. HD is basically the upscaler. So if you click on it, it's going to get a higher resolution. You can download it directly or you can click on a plus sign to import it to your library and your timeline. So here it is now. This is a non-upscaled version. Let me import the upscale one and we'll compare them. So this upscaled here, the first one, second one is not upscaled. You can see lots of details added in the upscale HD version. As I said, it can be found in a library. Open a drop down and you should find AI materials here. Let's get back to AI generated. And you've got some adjustment options. Most important the ratio. So by default it's one by one a square and you mostly want to have 60 by 9 or 9 by 16. For the style you can pick general which is more realistic and anime. And the steps this can be used to adjust how much detail should be in there. If you crank it up fully it's going to take longer though to get processed. Let me click on a plus sign for the second one. And here you are, 16 by 9 format. It's going to be all A's, just some basic options, but why not? It's free, it's inbuilt, easy to use, so why not try it out? I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.